Welcome YouTube, this is day one using the new to me Bobcat S550 skid steer. So the job today is going to be moving and covering rock to prepare for grass seed. This whole situation arose from a trench I had to dig to replace a sewer line. In Missouri, we don't really have dirt, more like rock crammed together with a thin dirt mix. Therefore, we are bringing in uh, 14 yards of screen topsoil to return the yard to its former self. As you can see here, I've leveled the yard as best I can. I've also moved the larger rocks to the low point of the yard to later be covered with dirt and leveled. I'm going to bring dirt in to cover the rocks and level the yard, making my way back towards the house as I go. I always make sure to use my bucket to flatten as I go. Uh, it's always better not to get too aggressive in this step, especially since I don't have any topsoil to help with the smoothing process. Okay, so this is the uh, big obstacle of the job, making the way between the two houses. We have very low clearance. Uh, the machine barely fits between, as you can see, a AC unit. There's also a gas line that's, avail or that's around as well. And uh, basically this slows the whole thing down, not to mention the soil is very soft and it, the conditions are getting worse every pass through.
in an effort to uh, reduce my trips back and forth, I always try to maximize the dirt in my scoop. That involves raising, lowering, uh, bouncing left and right, and you know, just trying to get as much dirt in there as possible. Okay, so at this point, I think I'm going to cut the video off. Uh, you can continue watching for another two hours, me moving dirt from the front yard to the backyard. Eventually, we get it leveled out as good as possible, but decide a additional dump truck load of dirt is going to be the best, uh, best solution uh, for the backyard. And uh, in the future video, next video, I will also be uh, addressing some issues I've discovered after the first day of running the S550. Again, this is a new to me uh, piece of equipment. It was bought as it's a 2014 and was bought out of a Sunbelt rental fleet. So uh, I've come across a couple of minor issues that I will address and I will talk about those further. But again, I appreciate you watching. Thanks again. Bye.